This is where it all begins, with one kid alone on the playground. This is where you fall in love with the game. This is where the fantasy begins. No matter how long I play, it'll never change. Basketball is a part of me. I play because I love the game. I'm living my fantasy. He's a pro's pro. I mean, we even like to see him play when we're not playing against him. <laughs> Down left side, Jordan. Break right, go left to the base. He's inside. Reverse layup, what a move. You watch him, and he do something, and you'd be like, hmm. Now, I wish he could do that again. Hacks and a steal. He lobs for Jordan. Oh! Oh! Wow! He flies. Uh, you know, uh, he plays above the rim. He makes, you know, some moves that he seems like, you know, you guys are in high school or something, you know. Leaves the middle open. Jordan, what a move! It counts! The Higgins back to Jordan. Oh! Up to Jordan, baseline right, drives past Robinson. Shoots him, and he's good! Once you get up there, then he say, well, I don't know if I want to shoot it yet. Maybe I just hang up here for a while, you know, up in the air and just sit back and wait till everybody come down. And then he said, well, I don't know what move I'm gonna make. All the time, he's still up in the air, you know? And then all of a sudden, well, maybe I 360, no, I changed my mind. Maybe I go up on there on the other side. He's just incredible. Jordan asked for a screen. Oh. What a move! I can't see 20 years from now anybody saying, oh, he was okay for his time. I think he's gonna be okay for the time before us. Now and 20 years down the line, he's gonna be Something that people look at and say, he's unbelievable. Jordan gets to the circle and fires. Yes! Jordan on a breakaway. Two hands in. Jordan switches hands three times and counted. Right side cuts back, left down the lane.
This is this year's team. Lou George. Jerry Charles. Paul Anthony. Ryan George. Hugh Clark. Curtis Badeau. Roland Merriweather. John Clayton. Mike Sigmund. Practice starts tomorrow at 3.30. Get your locker assignments at 3. See you then. All right, for those of you guys that didn't make it, I'd like to tell you something. Michael Jordan got cut from his high school team. And he came back, and he came back a better ball player. I like Shane Malone anyway. I mean, I don't, need to, I don't care about making the team. 8.35 left. Bulls need to string some hoops together. Jordan all the way to the hole. Yeah, Michael Jordan got cut, too. Into Jordan, Michael, around Walker for the oh, 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 in their face. What am I, crazy? I don't need to be kicked around again. Well, I expect to see all of you back here next year. All of you. I want to see you guys here next year. I bet you Michael Jordan never even got cut. Nice shot. I see you've been practicing. I know you like to play alone. You don't mind if I shoot with you, do you? I take that as a yes. What are you doing here? You know who Leroy Smith is? No. He's the last guy to make my high school basketball team. So you did get cut? My sophomore year. I mean, I really worked on my game. Of course, I grew four and a half inches, and uh, that didn't hurt at all. But I think it really helped my confidence and my determination. Seconds. Grant out high, wide left. Pippen. Three seconds. Jordan's force-up shot to left. Oh yes! yes! Win. <laughs> Michael Jordan <laughs> saves the day. In the NBA, there's a lot of great athletes, but it's your determination that sets you apart. Michael, he's his toughest when the game is on the line. He loves that challenge. I mean, he, he literally, if, if he could go out and play 82 close games where he had the ball with the game on the, on the line, that would probably be his, that would be his dream season. No matter what the game is or who you're playing against, you have to want the ball, the clock, the pressure. You block all that out. All you think about is what you have to do to win. That's why I love the end of the game, because it comes down to that one moment when it's all in my hands. It starts in the huddle. I listen to the coach set the play, but I'm also running plays in my mind. Things from the past. Sometimes I think back to North Carolina, and I'm a freshman again, playing for the national championship. As we suspected, it's going right down to the wire. A one-point lead for Georgetown. No, they stay in the 1-3-1 with Ewing in the middle. Jordy to Black. The tie, 18. Shot, good. Michael Jordan. North Carolina has won the 1982 NCAA championship. 
At that time, that was the biggest shot in my life. But when I got to the NBA, I had to prove myself all over again. Tie game with eight seconds left. The Bulls get it in play to Michael Jordan. No timeout. Michael into the front court. Left corner shot by Jordan. Go! Oh! I don't always have to hit the last shot, but I do have to walk away knowing I did everything I could to win the game. It's showtime here. Double team on Jordan. Three seconds left. Two seconds. One second. It's all over. Dallas doubled up. Zips it back outside. The ball loose. McDaniel had it stolen by Jordan. Michael's got to break away. This game is over. I've never seen an athlete who can accept and take on a challenge night after night, he does it. He wants the ball in, in, in five minutes left in the game when they're down four or two. He wants the ball, and he thinks he can, you know, pull out any situation. Everybody in the arena, everybody in America that's watching the game knows that he's going to get the ball. Yet, once he gets his hand on the ball, somehow he defies the odds and still comes up with the big basket. But the ultimate test of determination comes playoff time. What happens, he clicks on, and all of a sudden, the ball is his, the game is his, and he'll go on a tear that usually isn't seen in this league very often. Listen, listen, this guy, stay up, watch, listen, stepping in. Stay on top, first of all. He's gonna get the ball up top. When he gets it, he wants the drive right. He wants the drive right. Play him straight up. Watch him pull it up for a quick shot on him. Right, no let down, no let down. When you step on the floor, it doesn't matter how many times you've done it before. All that matters is that you do it now. Those are the moments you put in the hours of practice for. Those are the ones you never forget. Play as hard as I could, but it didn't matter. I still got cut. All right, so why did you get cut? Because I got abused. I mean, Coach had his mind made up. It was nothing I could do. Well, he go back and change his mind. Look, when I first came into the league, all people thought of Michael Jordan was, look at him dunk, or how many points did he score? No one really knew I could play defense, but I showed them I could play defense. That's what you got to do. You gotta show them that you're tough. You can do what you need to do to win. When I was a rookie, 
I surprised a lot of people with some of the things I could do offensively. Jordan. To Higgins, back to Jordan. Oh! Here's Jordan, nice move on the baseline. Oh! Even though I knew how hard I worked on defense, all anyone noticed was the way I scored. A so that made me work even harder to get that recognition as a complete player. Yes, he dominates the game on the offensive end of the court, but he also dominates the game on the defensive end of the court. And that does more, not just for his team, but takes more away from the other team's confidence than anything that he can do offensively. When I'm playing defense, I want to break down my opponent mentally. Not just the man I'm guarding. I want everyone on the other team to be looking over his shoulder, watching for me thinking about where I am. Everyone on the floor is always aware of where Michael Jordan is. His defense is an attacking kind of a defensive situation. The ball comes around me, uh, it's in jeopardy because I'm going to knock it loose. You know, he goes inside the phone booth and puts on his Superman suit and, you know, He's everywhere. I know when he's guarding me, you know, I have to watch not to put the ball out too far because, you know, he's just so quick. Richmond near, gets it stolen by Jordan. Good now. The defense isn't the only part of my game that I worked hard to improve. That's a Magic Johnson pass. People always talk about uh, Magic Johnson's passing ability, and they always talk about Larry Bird's passing ability. But it's rarely people really recognize Michael Jordan, the exceptional passer that he is. Passing may not be as glamorous as dunking or blocking shots, but becoming a better passer is one of the most important things I've added to my game. Defense can double and triple team you, but if you find an open man, it'll make you twice as hard to stop. Every day I play, I want to get better. The day I stop improving is the day I walk away from the game. He's a winner. He plays to win. He just doesn't play to do all the fancy things. Jordan, the rebound. Saves it in. What a save. save. What a what play. A soul play by Michael Jordan. He can do so many things. Uh, he, you know, he's a player in the league, probably the only player in the league I can think of that just has no weaknesses. Jordan has it, and the Bulls come back with a chance in the lead. 
Jordan, head of the key, cuts left on the drive into the left hands to Neely. It's knocked away, but two grand, he lays it in. He's been scoring champ. He's been defensive player of the year. He's been dunk champ. He's been everything. He wants to win. Okay, but you're the best in the world. I probably could practice for the rest of my life. And still, it wouldn't matter. See, competing is not just a test for who's bigger or stronger. I mean, it really determines who has the bigger heart. And some people just don't have it. No matter what happens on the court, you still got to be able to compete with yourself. But did you see the guys I was up against? They're bigger, they're stronger, and they're the same guys I gotta see tomorrow, again. Yeah, maybe they are better. And yeah, maybe you will get cut again tomorrow. But I don't think, after all this time and practicing and playing, that deep down in your heart, you don't think you have a chance. Don't be afraid. Go find out. The best part of basketball is competing. For me, it begins as soon as I get to the arena and I start to focus on that night's challenge. My pregame routine is always the same. I get out on the court early to shoot around. I clear my mind. And I visualize what I'm going to do. As the game gets closer, it's the only thing on my mind. When I hit the floor, I can feel the excitement in the air. It's almost game time, and I know I'm ready. guys I play against, there's one who definitely makes me rise to the occasion. They go back to like the shootout, <laughs> you know, it's like, okay. Atlanta has the trap on, right side packs it, now they dish to Jordan for the dunk! Cross court to Dominic, look out! Three on one, behind the back to Jordan for the dunk! We love to play against each other, you know, it's thrill to watch him play. You know, we, when we go, uh, play against each other, we have uh, some serious battles. Mike come down and he said, <laughs> boom! He come down and he, <laughs> boom! And they just go back and forth. And, and, you know, Jordan had 30 at the quarter, Dominique had 22 at the quarter. And they'd be pointing at each other, and, you know, yeah, yeah, come on, come on with it. <laughs> and 
and they just go at it, you know, and, it, and it's good competition. You know, they're not trying to hurt each other, but they're playing hard against each other. They, they, they're both trying to win, and after the game, they probably go out to the party. <laughs> But as much fun as it is playing against Dominic, my toughest battles are with Joe Dumas. When it's time to step on the floor, it's all business, and uh, it's not fun and games anymore. It's a war. Five percent of the plays are for Michael Jordan, and the other five percent end up in his hand anyway. Michael starting his drive. Look at the spin move. Count it. You become consumed by Michael Jordan. You become consumed that he's out there. Mistake, it's not even a question of whether or not you're going to get burnt. You're burnt already. Here's Jordan, a steal from Dumars, takes it in. Michael Jordan No one plays me tougher than Joe, but when you're playing against the Pistons, that's only the beginning. With them, you're never going against just one guy. against Michael Jordan is the ultimate test for our defense. If you can defense uh, Jordan, it's, you can defense anything, anything in the league, anything in the world. Play him straight up. Everybody cheat off your man. Come and take both. It doesn't entail me playing you necessarily. It's our five playing you. They do more than just play me. They punish me. Anytime he goes up for a, a shot in the lane, somebody's going to hammer him. They even have their own set of rules for me, though they don't like to admit it. The Jordan rules. Is that something you guys made up? Jordan rule? No, I don't, I don't know what that is. Pistons make me work harder than any other team I've ever played against. We make each other work hard because neither of us will ever give up trying to find an advantage. That's why they are my ultimate challenge. I pictured myself trying out a million times, a whole year. And if I screw up tomorrow, it's all for nothing. What's the worst thing about being cut off? knowing that I was scared. And I didn't play my game. When I first started to dunk, I mean, my biggest fear was that I wouldn't get up high enough to dunk the basketball. And while I think at some point in time, you just got to trust those feelings. You got to trust that hard work has paid off. And you know what? I think it's time. Let's go.
Dunking is such an overpowering way to score. It's only worth two points, but it can demoralize the other team. When I have the ball, I can see it in their eyes. They'll do anything they can to stop me from dunking on them. First, I take it right at them. If they cut me off, then I improvise. But when I see an opening, I don't hesitate. I just attack the basket. Because when I take off, I feel like no one can stop me. Five, four, three, two, one. I like in your face particularly. I, I love that one when he comes down and just dunks on somebody. There, Patrick, uh, Elijah one, he's going to the basket. Jordan got the step. Off to Michael. Jordan. I think his favorite dunk is the one where he gets on a breakaway and just jumps right inside the free throw line and just turns sideways. He like leaned towards the goal and like he was looking down in it. This is a marvelous dunk. One that I like is dribbling the ball, and I think they at Philly. And uh, Barkley is about to jump, but Michael's already in the air, and um, Barkley said, well, forget it, he's up there already. Oh, I like that. I think the, the, the ones that are, are the most fun to watch is when he gets out in the open floor. There's no hang time like Michael's. <laughs> he makes it look so easy. I mean, he's so graceful, like a ballerina. I don't know whether I really fly or not, but I do know that when I'm up in the air, sometimes I feel like I don't ever have to come down.
that's it, Raw. You know, I think you might do all right tomorrow. I know you like playing alone, but do you mind if I shoot with you? Oh,
hanging out. Where do you want to put him? L.A., Hollywood. It's not just determined by who's bigger or stronger. She has a bigger heart. And I don't think everybody has that. See, scoring is not the only way to help the team. You got to be able to pass. And I do think I can pass. Well. Mess it up, I mess it up. That's good. One time. Hello, you like do 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 That's the blue. All right, now we got two opposite hey, ends of the hair like, spectrum right here. You know? Like before, after, before, after. All right, now we were playing. But you can get one of these. So see, check this out. We were playing before. We were playing before. I mean, this is like... And Michael dunked it on me, okay? And I felt really bad until I saw him dance. Now I feel real good about myself. I feel real equal. <laughs> Well, basically, you put your arms behind your back and bend your knees, wiggle up and down, yeah, you with it ease. You're almost there, but to win the race, you got to make the Bill Cosby face. Tighten your lip, roll your eyes. Hello, like you're eating a big bowl of jello. 